idea behind sewing the biochar is to get it about up to 10 centimetres below the soil surface. Um, it will then um, hold moisture within the soil and hopefully hold the nutrients within it and trace elements. So the biochar is being sown, it's mixed with uh, triple super and it's going in about 6-7 centimetres below the soil surface at about 10.5 uh, millimetres row spacing and um, the next pass will be sowing one row and Clara sowing another. We've got Wes and Greg driving the tractor and we're on the back there. So the reason why we have a biochar trial is that uh, I suppose when you look into the theory behind it and um, certainly on sandy soils I think it might lead to a bit of uh, I think it's got merit um, so for us on a new block with sandy soils we thought it was an obvious fit for us to give it a bit of a crack and, and put the time in to try and get that right um, so yeah I think for sandy soils it's going to be a huge benefit in certainly minimising fertiliser let the leaching process um, um, I suppose uh, carbon neutral type farming if you want to look at it that way uh, so yeah, they're the reasons why we thought we'd give it a go. elements because the biochar will keep that within the soil. Um, um, the method of putting in, we've got a Duncan air seeder. Um, certainly we found with the higher rate of biochar at 200 with a higher rate fur it flowed a lot better than what it did with less fur um, half rate. So equivalent to 150 kilos of single super versus 75. I'm not quite sure why, I just think because that obviously the super being a rounder particle flows better through it. So that's the reason why I think it might have worked a bit better that way. I think, yeah, application wise, I think it needs a little bit of work in getting a mix and getting the right amount of fertilizers in with it to help it flow or a different type of machine to help it flow. Um, because, yeah, it sort of made it difficult to get the calibration right. So. 